I got your back. You know, from the front. I'm out of here. So when we were in Daytona before the race weekend started, they had us like come in and do like media like shots for FS1 and like little video clips and an, inter and an interview. And um, they asked me, they were Jump's like, over. You're dead. You get, you get it out there. Come on now. They were like, give us a fun saying, or like a quote. And Derek was like, you should say, I got your back, you know, from the front. Aw, <laughs> did you say it? No, I said it's been real, it's been fun, but it wasn't real fun. <laughs> Because my dad always says that. I have the spike. Toxin screen down. Blinded. Yeah, did you tell him, like, did you, did you explain to him about your big fucking trip to the strip club? And do you know what you know what's fucking funny about some shit is is to sit here and act as if this this fucking cholo of a dude fucking deserved any fucking any bit of your time or attention and, and like somebody else did. I don't know what makes somebody think that this person deserves the fucking yeah! world with you, deserves you to fucking be like that with them, but When's my else next not. race? Um, hopefully oh, at don't, Atlanta. Don't ask her that, because she's fucking... Swing. But that all depends on... She might get a little attention from it or something. If we find the funding for it, and if the race... Now that everybody available. knows that they they give you those fucking races. They everybody knows they set that shit up for you and just have you go to them. You ain't nothing but a, a damn filler driver. Like you're just there to fill up the fill up the fucking rest of the field, and, and that's why you got a five year fucking deal, and, and that's why you said you you knew what you was doing for the next five years because they they just give that shit to you. They 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 give you a race and give you a date and tell you to come you know come drive the car that's that's what they do and she sits around and acts like her and fucking Derek are the ones that put all that shit together and stuff like that and it's, it's fucking like that. oh damn I didn't need to use my ult she gets that shit handed to her she gets it given to her and that's why she gives I used it that's why she gives opportunities and shit to other people for her that don't really deserve it because she's used to it being like that with herself. I don't know if you can talk about it, but how much does it cost per race? It depends on what team you're racing with. She used, um, she's used to going to a fucking. There's like lower budget teams, and then there's um, like mid tier, and then there's to like top tier hand, teams, and then to top her. tier teams. For a top tier truck ride. Natalie, stop talking like, about racing. You I'm don't like racing. If you liked racing, you would fuck with DGR. me. Well, not DGR, it's something else now. I'm guessing. For you don't care a shit race about racing. Them, like, it's close to a hundred to a hundred and twenty-five thousand dollars. She wanted I, to sit I, here I don't and know fucking. For sure, she wanted to sit here and play now. fucking um, video games one day and decide that now she's a streamer. I'm not gonna say what we pay per race, but I don't. Nobody care about what you pay per race. Like, oh, that was bad timing. Bad timing. Bad timing. Toxin screen down. Where are you going to go? They're playing scared. Guys, I have bomb. Yeah. I'm coming with you. Hey, man, if, if she could do some shit... If she could do some shit with somebody that don't deserve it, dude, I, I, I cannot begin to fucking tell you how, how... how ecstatic I am to think of what she would do to somebody that does. Like, oh, shit. Could you imagine? Yeah. What, who, who fucking jumped up and made... You know, made her leader or some shit, or made her fucking yeah. the deciding factor on oh, who's worthy or who's not. Like this poor girl, man. I swear to God, like I, I think there's a fucking mental condition with this shit because she is, uh, she is fucking literally. She's, she's fell in love with the alias of a person. Like she, she loves this. Like, like look, look at her up there. She, this is like a straight mental condition. I think she. 
she is fell in fell in love with the this salty character to Do the I point like to where Atlanta? she fucking. I only reset the new Atlanta one time, and that she was, likes she likes um, with my Xfinity team last year. A person and that's not even there. We it's like brought, a. Um, she fell in love with the fucking invisible invisible. I believe person. I had a super speedway car, and my teammate. She's over there loving like a fucking mannequin. Or had. Some shit. Wait. My teammate had a high downforce car, and I didn't have a high downforce car. So, oh I kind of wish I had the high downforce car, but we had to make sure we were going to qualify in. Um. Placing sentry. Placing bomb grenade. Reloading. Oh. Bomb grenade out. High downforce car to super speedway. Alarm bot out. I've got your trident. going up. Shit, my my fucking computer froze. I'm so sorry. Yeah, because that's because you won't update the fucking firmware. You won't update the software. You won't update your graphics graphics bad. card and all this other shit. And your fucking tech dude sucks. I think, I think if we bring a super speedway car, like with a car that has a high God. down force. Natalie, stop. Like I said, stop talking about racing. You don't like racing. I think racing. I'll like it a lot more. If you liked racing, you'd have, fuck, you'd have fucking been fucking with me. Okay. I can still win. You would have fucked with me on some shit if you liked, liked racing shit. And you ought to fucking be embarrassed. You over fucking being super duper fucking available for oh dude there. Like, honey, you supposed to be too fucking hot and shit. You, you too hot to be over fucking that available. Like, super duper and i i have no fucking earthly idea what makes she what makes her think that this person deserves fucking any of her time much less somebody else not like what make well, like who says that she gets to fucking dictate who is special or who like who's worthy or some shit like Does that make you shit, feel big or make you feel important or make you feel like you know, fucking special or some shit? Like thinking that you get to tell this person that they're cool, but this person here ain't cool. Or how, like, how does somebody have the audacity to sit here and call somebody not cool when you're trying to be like exactly like them? You're trying to do everything exactly like them, and then sit there and tell them they're not cool. No, it's so close. But for real, dude, I don't know what makes her think that she gets to pick and choose who. Just, and and sometimes, man, it's not even really worth like it, it, it. Whether you want to or don't want to, it's worth doing just because. Because it, I really it's like think that. you can win. If you need, if you see people that enjoy some shit, if you see people like your own followers or fans enjoying some shit. You see yourself enjoying it. Exactly. You're seeing somebody else enjoying it. you seeing like, myself enjoying it. Then how in the fucking hell is it not something that is worth doing? Does that does that not make sense? Hello? Can you guys hear me? Hello? Is something wrong with my Discord? Uh, there's all kinds of fucking shit wrong. It's uh, like I don't even Hello? know if you know... I don't even know if you know what planet you're on. Go, go, go. You guys, I think something's wrong with my Discord. But yeah, dude, she's over here fucking daddy saltying it up and shit. And oh, I don't know what makes her fucking think that she gets to pick and choose who's fucking me? cool yeah, or who's can. not. What if I said on some shit I like that, you there, there wasn't a fucking cool bone in your body? But something's wrong with my Discord. There's fucking honey. There's something wrong with every fucking thing you do. Right. You ain't you ain't been doing nothing but just sitting around trying to fucking make it to your next race. You just been sitting around trying to buy time until you get to your next race or until your next date and shit like that. And like you woke up one day and thought you was going to get you a fucking microphone and a computer and now you're going to be a fucking big streamer and shit and don't even know how to fucking sell tickets don't even know how to fucking sell you know sell a product don't know how to bring 
new followers or new fans yeah, or you know anything like that because if you did I mean, like, then they hello, would fucking hello. enjoy some shit or they would like it like hello hello you guys what was wrong with it no i wanted to say that freaking off she's acting really fucking extra about shit i really thought salty was angry because he wasn't talking. No, you need well, to you them. have literally I fell in love with the alias <laughs> yeah, like, of a person. I, like of I think there's a mental fucking condition I'm for like, it. Oh. And it's I'm like you fell in love with the fucking invisible <laughs> person or like a, an imaginary friend or some shit. Like, I feel like saying you're over here fucking hey, now you guys can hear sucking dong right? and shit on fucking oh, no, what was going on? with this dude and... You're giving him all kinds of fucking love and shit, and you don't even fucking deserve it. Like, you're not even, you're not even fucking, it's not even worth your time, but yet you're trying to convince people that it is. It's not even, it's not even fucking fun, it's not even unique, it's not even special. Where's the fucking excitement, or where's the fucking fireworks, or where's the fucking explosions and shit, and, you know, fucking dropping bombs on them and shit, like... <laughs> Airstriking your ass and shit. Like, where's all that at? I don't see no entertainment value. I don't see no fucking. I don't see nothing entertaining about any. Did you hear it? Like, how is that entertaining, Natalie? How, how is that worth your time? Other than sitting around thinking that these dude, these this guy is so fucking boring that it makes you stick out or stand out. Like, it's a hell of a lot more fun to have fucking people that are interesting or have people that are like fun or have something to fucking say or want to talk or like wouldn't you much rather have five fucking five people that fucking are badass than you would to have one that's halfway badass and everybody else is just fucking a snooze fest yay like fucking boring as shit just over there Guys, fucking guess what I want couldn't entertain a fucking sloth yes <laughs> I'm hoping I can get some tomorrow. I had McDonald's breakfast today because I like He's got up, had a extreme migraine again, but I was like, I'm still gonna go to work. Who's got, who's got, who's got her feelings hurt and, and who's got upset like, okay, and who's went into the closet and who's cried and her soul. Nice morning. Well, Although that he was growing up. Her got, who's got. <laughs> Just got her fucking sand in her vagina. Oh, and... Um, Sage has a freaking Odin. Wash the fucking sand out of your vagina. I mean, like... Could you imagine her fucking going like? You could imagine people over there like, yo, look, dude, this this girl calls this this girl calls him fucking daddy. Like, what the, what the fuck is wrong with her? She's sitting over here calling. Hey, <laughs> what's going on, guys? <laughs> she's calling. She's calling him daddy like she's like she's a fucking pop tart. Eat him. Uh oh. You guys Hell want? Yeah. Like she's fucking pop tart. My dog's throwing up. Oh. Daddy, uh, come here. You kept on feeding him that fucking size? peanut butter. Well, she's reverse sneezing. I'm not sure one or the other. Every time anybody comes around with her Derek, puppy dog, you got to tell them to hide the fucking hide the Jeff peanut butter. You don't care. Honey, come here. come here. Natalie, go hide your fucking Jif peanut butter now. I hate when she does that. And dude, she that girl wouldn't know how to fucking be cool if somebody paid her to Selfie, fucking be cool. I threw up a sock the other day and it smelled so What's that? fucking bad. Oh, he threw his name is Tim. Yeah. Like once you yeah. sit around and call him fucking Tim, like mouth his mouth name mouth is, mouth and and, and off of his foot and keep from fought like you you oh fell gosh. in love with the fucking alias of a person Holy and it not shit. even be the right person or the real person. Like they're coming. Hey. You might as well be walking around with a fucking mannequin up underneath your arm and like standing it up everywhere oh that you go. God. Like, could you imagine like you're fucking like a? Could you imagine doing the fucking like a, the rehearsals and shit? And Natalie is walking up there to the front. And there's a fucking I don't mannequin, know. you know, stand up there with her fucking suit and shit on, and it's just a whole room full of mannequins.
She's on spike. Front side, I mean. I need this. But man, I'm glad this girl knows what is interesting, or I'm glad she knows what's fun, or she knows what uh, a good thing is, cause. Nice. Yes, yeah. Boy, that was really like. That was hot. Don't well, fuck with me, beach. That was really fucking <laughs> lame. Just to be well, honest with me. you. <laughs> And it wouldn't, it, like, if it was just, yeah. like, the idea yeah, of her fucking with this dude, here, but not fucking with me like, or some shit. Come here. Hey, that's, that ain't come no deal at all, but me. you gonna try and make hey. that shit about somebody, then that's where they do have to kind of chime in a little bit. And... Hey, and it just really, uh, like, it's, uh, like... Honey. The idea of you putting on a, a show or a performance with people or put like a, a writing out a script girl. or some shit and, and acting it out, like, like hey, it's, it's fucking straight donkey, well, dude. It's like ass as fuck. Like, I'm just being real, like, your, your fucking show is like a snooze fest. And I don't know any fucking body that would want to watch it and it actually be interesting to them. There's two of their be. And I know you like the idea of, of fucking with the underdog or something to try to make uh, make something better, but if if you're missing the whole point of something to begin with, then somebody's not even, like, ask the reason why they're an underdog to begin with. Why are you treating them like an underdog? It's not, if it's because of me, then it's obviously you're missing the fucking point. And hey, man, if this is what you want to do, if this is the kind of shit that you're interested in, you find, you know, interesting, more power to you, Nelly. Like, shit. Don't, don't let somebody hold you back, or don't let somebody, like, keep you from achieving your dreams, right? Like, but, you know, next time some shit like that happens, maybe you maybe you actually cool with somebody and, you know, fucks with them and shit. <laughs> and see, that's just like old dude sitting here fucking, you know, you guys, I really want you to see my dog playing video second. games 24 7, trying to get Mommy! people. Trying to get, you know, Monkeys trying to get you to be fucking cool about some shit or trying to get you to be, like, awesome about it or making some shit that is not fucking that cool, dude. Trying to make it, like, cool or make it fun or, you know, some shit like that or, or having a really bad time of just boring everybody to fucking death. And that's like this shit right here, man. This shit is fucking... This shit is so fucking donkey. I swear to God, it's fucking... Dumb as shit ever. Boring as fucking hell. But, yeah, having no dude over there fucking playing, you know, playing constantly. Just playing as much as he fucking can so that you'll sit over there and fucking cheer him on or some shit. Or you got, you know, you're over there... Shaking your pom poms and and bouncing your titties up and down for you know this this Tim dude and shit acting like it's really special or really worth your time like and boy don't don't somebody fucking reap the benefits of it and shit boy don't you give some you know some some solid fucking benefits out to somebody that fucking don't even deserve the fucking shit and so I could just dude I could I I would love to see what she would do for somebody that she knows does deserve it like and instead of sitting around worried about like his feelings or your feelings or whoever's feelings uh like what what, what about my fucking feelings or what about the way that some shit made me feel or what about you know fucking with somebody's head or fucking with their mind or fucking with their you know manipulation and and despair and and like, uh, fucking, uh, gaslighting somebody and shit like that. You know, what about all those things? You uh, Is all those things just okay? It ain't no big deal? And you can you can just do whatever you want to do, or you can do this or do that and uh, that's just like trying to fucking make somebody a part of part of your shit or something and and trying to act as if you're 
you know, like taking a part of them or something and making them a part of your shit when did you ever even fucking ask or did you ever even see if it was okay? Like, you can't really just sit around and live off a prayer that you hope that they're accepting, you know, accepting of it or that hope that they're okay with it. Like, I mean, I think I have the right to be able to dictate, you know, who I find capable or who I find uh, adequate enough to be able to represent myself. And if I don't think that the person is up to par, or if I don't think the person is, you know, a good fit or, or the correct description about some shit, then I don't have to like it. I don't have to see it. And you might sit around and say, well, you don't, if you don't like it, you don't have to watch. Well, no, I should be able to watch. I should be able to, to sit here and watch every single bit of it. I should be able to watch something and not have no kind of feelings or not have a, you know, whether I'm happy or sad or whether I like it or don't like it. Like, I should be able to watch some shit and not have a single fucking, single bit of, of feelings or, you know, feel any kind of type of way about some shit. Like, you know, if you did some shit like that, that's, that's your fault. That ain't my fault. Like, evidently you don't know what some shit is or if you, you don't know how, like, just to be cool with somebody, like, being cool with you and shit. Like, for somebody, man, that likes attention as much as she does, it, it, she has such a hard time doing the right things to get her the attention. Like, <laughs> And I think she really just sits around and tries to do things that she thinks people likes, and she don't even know what fucking, she don't even know what people likes. That's why this shit right here, man, is just absolute, just dog shit, and it's fucking boring and and sad and shit because she's so used to born and sad she's so used to her fucking boyfriend being born dude that she will literally you could have a fucking you could have a a blind three-legged dog that has fucking worms in his shit and you could sit around and you know that'd be more fucking interesting than what you're dealing with right here right now like obviously right like anybody literally anybody would be more interesting than fucking what you're dealing with to begin with. And that's why you find it so unique or special. Like, uh, they've put you, they've fucking hid you up underneath the rock like Patrick Starr. And you're like, hey, 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 SpongeBob. Like, you're fucking, you're, sometimes, man, uh, the way that you do things or the ways you go about things is just fucking idiotic and I feel like you don't struggle with when it comes to putting on a show with people or putting on a show for people like you struggle with fucking entertainment or, or drawing somebody in or, or wanting them to listen to what you have to say or, or pay any attention to it like and when you have somebody that is uh, unique or special enough to be able to draw people in for you or draw in fans or supporters or draw in people listen to what you have to say and say some good shit about you and shit then it's then that ought to be worth your time and i feel like man most of this is just you sitting around trying to argue about some shit like somebody's telling you that you can't do this or some shit and you're trying to argue with them and be like no you can when i didn't nobody fucking say some shit like that didn't nobody you know claim some shit like that <laughs> And I don't know, dude, I, I swear to God, I have no earthly idea what makes her think that she she can be extra fucking, extra super duper fucking special with somebody that don't fucking deserve it or, you know, isn't fucking worthy. But she wants to claim that it's like she's fucking cool with somebody else or she wants to make it like she's cool with somebody else. But yet she wants to give this person all of her fucking time or attention and give somebody else absolutely zero and, you know, manipulate a person or, or fuck with their head or fuck with their mind and, and, you know, all this, all this shit in the process and, you know, sit around and act like it's right or act like it's okay. And, you know, just because a person is a strong person does not mean that they should have to be put through torment or torture or don't have to be put through fucking, you know, psychological pain or have to be put through fucking hell to, you know, to begin with, like, I, I shouldn't have to do that just because you, you think of a person as a strong person or, a, you know, strong-minded person, like, and I'll be the first one to tell you, oh, dude's feelings isn't more important than my own, oh, uh, this dude's feelings isn't more important than this dude's, and 
if you're being cool with this person, but you're fucking hurting me in the process, or you're bringing my fucking, bringing my ass, you know, bringing me down, or hurting me in any way, then I do have something to say about it. I sure should do. And I stand up for what's right. I stand for stand up for what I believe in. I stand up for the the correct thing. And some shit like that is just that's just not the right way to be. And you know that this dude isn't more important than myself, or this dude isn't more important than than me. So to sit around and make it like my feelings or shit don't matter, the way that I feel about some shit doesn't matter, but oh, but this person does. When it's like, now that you've never even fucking spoke to somebody, you've never even talked to them. So how do you even know, like, how do you even know that you even want to be that way? You literally have no idea. So why in the world would you be, be some way if you don't know that that's the way you want to be? Like, and instead of fucking being like, scared of being instead of being scared to fucking talk to somebody or speak to them like i figured you you fuck with people you know quite often and you fuck with them on a regular basis and shit so speaking to somebody or talking to somebody it shouldn't have been that big of a deal and it's not even it's more the nostalgia of some shit it's not really you know it, it's more the 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 fucking collaboration with the person trying to call you know trying to collab with them or trying to fucking work together to fucking sell some tickets or to sell some fucking you know to bring in some fans or bring in followers or, sh or shit for yourself like is that not the task at hand or is that not the the objective i mean is that the objective or sitting around fucking uh strip clubbing it up with tim trying to make it out like like you you being cool with kev or some shit or you trying to be cool with me or something or like trying to somehow make it like you're cooler than I am, but yet you're just doing all the fucking things that I like to do. Obviously would not make you any cooler than myself. Man, all this fucking talking about winning and losing shit, man. Imagine if you fucking lost like big time. Imagine if something was like a, a fucking cool, cool million dollar fucking price tag. Like, Imagine if you had a, a million dollar fucking we were gonna have price tag on, on the way that you went about something or the way that you did some shit. Like, would it be oh so, oh well, or I'm just proving a point, or I'm just proving that I can do this, I can do whatever I want to do, it's my life, and I can do this and that. And, and to sit here and act as if somebody's telling you that you couldn't, or was trying to trying to get you to to think that you couldn't, like a fucking didn't nobody say that shit. I didn't say that I couldn't, you know, that you had to do anything a specific way. Other than like, not fuck with this person, but try to act like you're fucking with me or something, or try to make me a part of some shit, and uh, for me not to be able to dictate, you know. My, my fucking ideas or you know and to have somebody fucking listen to about you know a fucking baker's dozen of your ideas and just love them just completely fucking bow down to them just love every fucking thing about it but then to have such a fucking problem like accepting that or have such a problem admitting it like Like now, I've I, oh girl there, man. I've seen her fucking break her neck at a half dozen ideas that I've gave her, and just love them to death. And and it wasn't until she found out who it was or found out it was somebody, then that's when it was all a problem. But I'll be the first one to tell you, girl. I, I you know, oh dude's feelings isn't more important than myself. Oh dude's feelings isn't more important than me. And I stand up for what I believe in. I stand up for what's right. And I don't I don't fucking think a single bit of some shit like that's right. And, you know, I don't know what you think some shit is, but I can I can promise you that it's it's not like that. Like oh I fucking I matter too and, and I'll be the first one to tell you. Oh dude there ain't fucking he ain't more special than I am, or he's not more cooler than I am, or he's not, you know, 
my feelings don't mean shit, but his feelings mean everything in the world. Uh, and I feel like somebody had, uh, you know, almost have to damn near fucking explain some shit to somebody or almost have to damn near give them an explanation as to why, you know, why it was such a problem to begin with. Like, what was the big deal? What was what was such the big deal with fucking speaking to somebody or talking to them? Is it just because you you thought of them and wanting to? What if it wasn't really wanting to? And what if it was like you had to, or that's what you're supposed to have done? What if it was something where anything else was just not acceptable? And like I've said before, in, until you had spoke to a person or until you have understood what they have to say or understand what it is they're saying, then how do you know anything? How do you know that's even the way that you want to be? You don't know because you've not ever never even spoke to somebody. You don't know what the hell it is that they have to say. You don't know how it is that they're trying to be. Just like right here, right here, right now. I don't. I ain't, I ain't sitting here saying that this is even the way that I wanted to be on some shit. It's just, that's just the product of... Uh, you know the product of the, the way something kind of turned out or something and, that, and that's the same idea of you sitting around telling a white lie or some shit just because you tell a white lie don't mean that you got to keep it going just because you you know that's what you've made it and with the idea of something pertaining to somebody else i would almost damn near sit here and tell you that i almost feel like i i should have the choice of whether i wanted to even continue or not like i think i fucking damn near own the fucking rights to some salty shit or you know especially with the idea of it being about me or you know with the idea of it you attaching it to attaching it to me in any way shape or form like maybe i think you're legally obligated to quit using that name or quit you know making it a part of your shit maybe you have to just call him tim or maybe you just have to call him by his name and with the idea of it fucking with it pertaining to me or with the idea of it having something to do with me uh i appreciate it if you stopped why because i don't i don't appreciate you know you acting as if somebody else is more special than myself and but yet trying to make me a part of some shit like no nobody said that you ever had to do some shit that way nobody said you ever had to handle it that way that was your own that was your that was just your own fault that was yourself but i don't know what in the world makes you think that you can just like you can just do whatever and and well this person deserves all the fucking praise or all the fucking glory or all the love or attention of of somebody else when it's like is that not a fucking lie or is that not misinforming people and so believing that some shit isn't you know isn't truthful or you're not being truthful with what you're saying should you be on there lying to your followers or your fans or should you be lying to people watching nascar you know you're in an organization that is surrounded by the idea of family or surrounded by the idea of being a, a good person and shit and i think sitting around lying to your fans or followers is not a good thing to do because I, that's how i look at some shit i look at it as if you're just straight up lying about it and like i just sit there and said it if if which I know that it is because I've already heard what you have to say about all the shit. But if you got, if, since you have fucking salty over there pertaining to it as if it's me or attaching myself to it, I appreciate it if you stopped. I think you're almost damn near legally obligated to not even use that name no more. Not even be able to, you know, not even be able to use it during your streams or use it in your streams. You unless, you know, unless you didn't want a fucking lawsuit on your hands. 
because you do know that there is laws against, you know, taking somebody else's character and, and making them a part of your your show or your skit or making them a part of your shit and not without the proper permission or without the proper sign off or, you know, not signing any kind of, of agreement. Yeah, but there's there is legal, you know. Everybody has a legal right to be able to protect their own identity or protect their own character if it's something that they have uh, came up with or something that they have accomplished themselves. If if I take this character and it's a successful a successful character, and then I try to, and then somebody else tries to use that character without my permission. And obviously, I have the right to take legal action. And, you know, yeah, not, nobody had to be that way, just as much as you didn't never have to be that way. Like, nobody said you had to be that way or act that way, so... But I'll be the first one to tell you just because you just because you cupcake it up or you shout key, shout key, cupcake, cupcake, that doesn't make you illiterate or that doesn't make you fucking, you know, a, a, a little kid or that doesn't make you 12 years old or some shit like that. And uh, that's a whole other fucking story that we can we can dive into right here, right now. And honey, for somebody that likes elephants so much, like you, you already know, and I got a fucking memory like an elephant and. I remember every single minute detail down to the fucking tiniest one. And I'm ready for like a explanation. I'm ready for an understanding as to why, you know, to why is if it wasn't good enough to begin with, like what was, what was such the issue? What was such the problem with uh, being friendly to a person or being friendly with myself? Now, I know that, you know, I understand what it is you do. I understand who it is, you know, you are and shit. And I understand what you do for a profession. And I get that you can't just go around just being cool with everybody. You can't be chill with everybody. I understand that. But with my specific self or when it came to pertaining to me, that should have already been something that was easy to do or something that was easy to understand. Like, something that should have never been uh, difficult to do to begin with and, uh, honestly, it should have been something worth your time. Because a uh, fucking with me or fucking, you know, chilling me, or fucking laugh, fucking with me, laughing with me, uh, me coming up with some funny shit to say and shit is, oh my God. I obviously can draw in a, you know, draw in a following or draw in a, somebody to want to listen or pay attention to and. If I can get you to pay attention or if I can get you to listen to me, then obviously I know what the hell it is I'm talking about. And you don't think I couldn't get anybody else to listen or, or pay attention? Like, I bet you under the assumption of you sitting here listening to this right here, right now, I bet you under that simple assumption that, that shows that it's enough to, to draw your attention in or it's enough to get your attention, right? Excited. <laughs> instead of sitting around worrying about uh, trying to upset somebody or trying to make them jealous or are you jealous or is he jealous or she jealous instead of all that shit man it wouldn't have been nice to have focused on the task at hand or to create a little bit of nostalgia or create a little bit of a a purpose or you know to be a, a role model for so many other uh for so many other younger generations out there and, and give them something that they strive to be like or strive to want to be, you know, to make themselves as, or, you know, to have that fucking dream team of a, of a friendship or, or to have that dream team of a, just, you know, 
cool with somebody and shit. Like, it, to me, it's not that big of a deal, but to you, it might be the biggest deal in the world. To you, you might think that, oh, there's so many people out there that just want to be cool with me. Or there's so many people. I got so many dudes out there want to be cool and chill with me. And just like, honey, I'll be the first one to tell you that I ain't so many dudes. And being chill with me and shit is, is oh, oh, so definitely worth your time. Like, I got so much to fucking say. And, and like I said, if I can grab your attention, then I know I can grab somebody else's attention. Or I can grab other people's attention. Or I can grab people that ain't never been around. Like... I know they listen to me for just a second or, or listen to what it is I have to say. And by good golly, if I'm fucking friendly or nice or if I'm cool with you and shit, man, it, it doesn't hurt at all or it costs zero point zero zero dollars to fucking be cool back, right? Like have you ever heard that phrase that it costs zero dollars to be nice? Well, if somebody's nice or friendly to you, then why is it so difficult for you to be nice or friendly to them? And boy, God, he fucking he he sucked at that fucking shot. Like he's fucking missed a whole hundred shots. I don't even know what it is she's saying. Cause she's so fucking quiet. She she talks like a damn canary or something. She's like. Don't never get riled up, or don't never get excited, or you know, or no, you're probably more like the fucking baby canary still inside the damn nest that ain't even flapped its fucking wings yet, or bumped its ass, bumped its ass on the ground as it <laughs> jumps out trying to fly. And man, I thought, dude, I could have sworn this girl was fucking professional, or I could have sworn she was halfway cool or chill about some shit, or she knew how to act, or you know, knew the the way to act, but man, if she's just been given everything her whole entire life, then you know, fuck, what do you expect? She's not had to fight or claw her way to, you know, through some adversity or through fucking, you know, some low times, and so she's always, everything's just been handed to her, so she's just so used to handing it to somebody else, or you know, so used to giving some shit to somebody that don't deserve it, like and honey, I'll be the first one to tell you, you can sit here and call me not cool all day long, but if you're trying to be like me, then obviously, you know, you know what's up, or obviously you know who's cool in this scenario, right? Like, if you're trying to be like me, then damn, you gotta be, nah, I gotta be fucking cool as shit, right? Like, and uh, sweetie, there wasn't nothing wrong with you being like me, or there ain't nothing wrong with you being cool with me. I don't know what in the world made her, my disco ever fucking think that it was such a big deal to be cool. It's like somebody's like, just be cool, Natalie. Just be cool, Natalie. And she's like, bleh, bleh. okay. And just wipes your mouth clean. Like, overtime. We're gonna go until we fucking win this bitch. You're going to scatter from my stuff. <laughs> Natalie, you're over there fucking picking hot dog shit up off the ground after your dog shit it out and fucking smearing it all in your mouth and, hey, and Natalie, how are you? smearing it in your teeth and up your no nostrils and calling it fucking gourmet. Yeah. Let's do it. Saying it's a delicacy where she comes from. Everybody hide the Jif peanut butter. You got you got a fucking dog and some Jif peanut butter around, and boy, you got a good time. That's that's what Natalie says. And she didn't tell you about that one time she let that dog lick her fucking coochie with some peanut butter on it, did she? Fuck, one forty-two on her. She she's saying Red Rider, Red Rider. What's that little red thing there? And girl, how are you just absolutely not just fucking 
plum plum fucking purple embarrassed on some shit like i feel like i could i could have fucking i could have whipped it out and pissed right in the middle of a fucking uh a crowd of nuns and that shit not been as fucking as as embarrassing or as fucking ridiculous or some shit like thanks for dropping in and saying hello, hello i think she wants she just wants to be she wants shit to be bigger than it actually is. Like she wants to be, she wants to be this person that you have to go through fucking screenings, or you have to go through fucking background checks, or you have to go through, you know, e extensive fucking psychological uh, profiling to be able to, to you know, dictate whether somebody could uh, talk to her or not. She wants it to be that way, but it nowhere fucking even remotely close to that. And she don't like she don't. She, she doesn't trust the right fucking people. She doesn't trust the right one to to understand that that person knows exactly what they're talking about. Like, they know fucking front to back, left to right. I got you back from the front, just like you said. Like, and they know what it is. They're, you know, they know what it is that they're talking about. And they could do good with you. They could do do some good shit with you. It, it, could good, it could do you some good to get to know them or talk to them a little bit. Like, I promise you. That rounds out your whole, that rounds the whole thing out and makes everything like, rounds you as a person or, or opens your mind to, you know, a, a wider audience. Like if you're so focused on little, man, you should have fucking had them right there. <clears throat> but to focus your mind or attention on just so much nonsense like not, not even really truly yeah, worth your time like really just truly being argumentative about it and trying to argue about whether you think it's relevant or not like or you, you make this imaginary scenario where this person is you know telling you that you can't do something or you're not allowed to do it and you're you're putting all this shit in your head and making yourself believe that you cannot you know that somebody's telling you that you can't do this and it was never like that initially it was never like that to begin with and it wasn't until you started kind of acting that way you kind of started being kind of boo-hooing about shit or like bah humbug like some ebenezer scrooge and you know just not knowing how to be chill or not knowing how to be cool Have you ever heard somebody just like, just, yeah, just be cool, Natalie, yeah, just be cool. I lost 24. No. And I don't think Guys, she knows, I win? don't think she knows how to be cool. Is it my fault? Because you're so, you're so concerned with winning. You're so obsessed with winning. That's why you can't win. You're so, you're so obsessed with it. Like, I've got to win and it's got to be worth my time or... I have to yeah. do this. I have to do it. Like, who fucking cares if you win? Who cares if you lose? Like, maybe it's just fun to just have fun. Or maybe it's just fun to enjoy it. Like, Do you guys have Rita's where you live? No. An Italian ice custard place? Oh my god, it's to die for. I got the green apple. And I know I've been on here um, rambling a lot. And I know I've been on here just kind of <gasps> talking a bunch. And I ain't, I ain't really trying to talk talk smack or nothing. I ain't trying to talk crap. I'm just trying to get you to understand that, you know, it, it's it's nice to have interesting people. Or it's nice to have fun, you know, fun shit. And don't fall in love with the alias of a person like you have right there. Like... Don't be extra fucking, extra super duper special with the person, and it's not even the actual person. It's more of the alias of somebody, and it's not even like the alias of the right person. You know what I mean? Like, you 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 talking about him, but you're really talking about me. But yeah, you're trying to make it like it's fucking worth your time to begin with. Like. Or you're being extra fucking, you're being extra super duper fucking <laughs> special with him and, and fucking being exactly. damn near mean to me and like, what makes you think that that's right? Close your Rita's? Oh my God, I keep unplugging my headphones. What makes you think that any of it's right? Wait, they close in the winter or is it like 
maybe his, uh, you know, maybe his feelings and shit don't mean shit. And maybe my feelings are the only feelings that matter. Maybe his fucking, whether he's happy or sad or whether he's uh, fucking jerking off to his own tears, maybe that's his own prerogative. But man, she's she's literally fallen in love so much with the alias of a person that she literally does everything in the in the world with him now. Like, and boy, she tries to get people to believe that is this is actually worth her time, or this is actually fucking special or unique or fucking fun or some shit like that. And and honey, it's nice, so fucking sad, so boring. And you would you would have had so much more fucking fun with myself. I swear to God, you would have. Just on some just dope shit or just being cool and not even having to try about it, like you would have had so much more fun with me. Is it just drinks? But uh, you know, I'm not one of those people that sit around and is like whining or some shit or being like, Oh man, like that sucks. I don't know why you ain't cool with me, but she's cool with him and shit. I'm just getting it all out or I'm getting all my fucking frustration out or I'm trying to get you to understand where I'm coming from and when we were when we were in Walkins Glen. I don't, <laughs> I'm just going to be frank with you, I don't think nobody no. fucking cares about you and him and Walkins Glen, I think the only reason you did that was to try to upset me, or try to upset myself, you didn't give a fuck about no Walkins Glen, you didn't care that he was at Walkins Glen, the only thing you cared about was me fucking watching it, just as much as fucking strip clubbing it up with, with the suit, that doesn't make you cool, that doesn't make it cool. That's like actually the fucking complete opposite well, of it. Like and yeah, that's our frozen yeah. yogurt. Here. Oh fucking! So oh Timmy, Tom, Tim, Tim, the fucking tool man, Taylor. Yeah, like he fucking sucks, yeah. Natalie. And I don't you know why you give him so much attention. I don't know why you give him so much and love for it's, it's like. Nice. Damn! Damn if you could do that for him, I could just imagine what you do for somebody you believe that does deserve it, or somebody that actually deserves it. But the Italian ice is so good. And, like, you know how you can go to the bar and get, like, a flight of beer? She just does it because she thinks that it upsets somebody. (laughs) (laughs) She does it because she thinks it upsets them because she was upset to begin with. And now she wants to get back at them or some shit. She wants to... She wants to be upset with them back. So she, she's, you know, acts (gasps) upset herself. Really? And like I said, she, dude, she don't care about the shit as much as she thinks she does. She just guys, acts like she does because and I'm upset. it like uh, I told you that you needed to get the super light. That's it's not I even love. that fucking. After everything, I was like, wait, what? Uh, dude, I dead ass serious. I I can't even like it. It takes a lot for me to even sit here and listen to what somebody has to say. Like dead ass serious. And I was like. Yes, we did. And my headset, Derek was like, "That's how I, fucking I time boring and shit the shit is." And she doesn't realize that people are mostly just so over here because of you, and you know, that. they just have to put up with that other shit. Like, and if they I feel like that they me. no longer serve a purpose, or if they feel like they no longer have uh, Wait, but what color? an obligation to be there, you have no more reason for them to. You have no more purpose for them than. Obviously, they're going to feel inferior. They're obviously going to feel like they got to yeah. protect something themselves because they don't want to, you know, Light? feel uh, useless. Light? My fucking foot's itching like shit. Well, actually, but that's just my personal belief. I feel like somebody's scared of somebody being chill with somebody or being cool with them and not feeling like they need anything else. Oh, really? Yeah, dude, I gotta fucking, I gotta, I gotta fucking leave this shit exactly where it's at and I just hope it was really worth it or I hope it was really worth doing or some shit or I hope you really got a lot of fucking useful you know, good times out of it, and I hope it was really fucking special to you, because over here it looked like straight up fucking horse donkey. It looked like fucking horse doo doo, Nelly, and and honey, you you supposed to be better than fucking some horse shit. 
and I don't like I said before, man. I don't know what I don't have no earthly idea what makes her think that she gets to pick or choose who deserves something, but somebody else don't. But yet she makes it like it is this person to begin with. How's that right? And I feel like if if you have any kind of dignity about yourself, if you have any kind of pride about yourself, if you're prideful of your name, Decker, if you're prideful of your parents, your mother, and your father, if you're prideful on any single bit of this shit, you will talk to a person, you will speak to them person to person, you will have a conversation with them, and you will give them an explanation as to why this wasn't good enough but yet this was and especially with it you know pertaining to me had you cut that little last part out or had it just been myself or had it just been you was cool with this person and not cool with me i ain't got fucking shit to say about that shit but when you try to pertain it to me or try to pertain it to myself then all i have everything to say about it so yeah, if you're if you're prideful on anything you've ever accomplished, if you're prideful on racing, if you're prideful on being a race car driver, if you're pri if you're prideful on being a decker, you will talk to a person and have a normal fucking conversation with them, have a normal everyday just person to person, you know, no crazy wild shit, just uh, a straight up fucking real honest conversation with them, and you have some shit to explain. Like, you'll explain it. You'll explain your side of the story or explain the way that you feel about some shit or, you know, why it wasn't... Why this was good enough, but this wasn't good enough, but it was good enough for you to base it off the uh, a fucking person to, to begin with, base it off myself, and... sit here and try to make me believe... Like, try to make me believe I'm not good enough. Like, wouldn't that... Wouldn't that kind of defeat the whole purpose of what you stand for when you sit there and claim that you're good enough to be racing with the guys too well what makes you think that you get to pick or choose who who is good enough when you know you know who's good enough you already know what something is but yet you make it anything else but that But, like I said, man, on that note, I, I think I'm done fucking talking about this shit. I think I've spoke enough about it. I think I've wasted enough of, enough fucking breath on it, to be honest. Let me sit up. And I'm just ashamed. I'm just fucking disappointed. I'm fucking slightly embarrassed. And Damn, I wish you would have understood the way that somebody thought of you, or the some, way somebody treated you, or the way that somebody, you know, looked at you to where you know that anything that they have to say any fucking thing they have to say is the fucking bee's knees like it's just the best shit you could ever come up with and to think of how many good ideas a person has had with you and that you did and what a problem for you to do at all it is it's fucking redonkulous to sit here and act as if they are not you know Oh, it's just not like that, or it, yeah, it, it ain't like that, or, no, it's, it's that you have a problem admitting that it's like that, you have a problem admitting that that's what something is, and that's not my fault, like, a lot of the way that you've acted, chick, is not my fault, and it's nothing that I did, it wasn't nothing, no way that I acted, or anything like that. And just because a person asks you a simple question does not dig like that does not dictate that they are wrong. Like I, I I think people are allowed to ask you a question, right? Like nobody says you have to answer it or nobody says you have to but I think I can ask questions. I sure should do. Especially if I think what you're saying is fucking horseshit or if I think you're lying about what you're saying or, you know, lying to your audience or lying to your peeps and Yeah, Viper, shut up. You're and playing girls, you ought to be fucking, you ought to be fucking nine kinds of so fucking embarrassed of sitting there calling this fucking dude daddy salt to you or some shit. <laughs> no one fucking damn well what you're over smoking on, like. Uh, I have an idea. Maybe if I chew on public gum. <clears throat> what's your fucking yes. bum, what's your bun of a fucking hairdo over there, like. 
trying to look all cute and okay. shit. Like, well, they know where sword, we're at. And the the funniest fucking thing about some shit is is nobody nobody said you had to fuck with nobody said you had to fuck with me at all nobody said you had to fuck with this dude at all nobody said that you had to fuck with him and not me I just don't understand what what the big deal was about fucking with him and only him like you like you were so you you're so fucking pop tarted that you don't know how to fucking do simple math, you know, simple, simple mathematics, or you know, s simple addition to to understand that one plus one equals two. Fuck you! Why are you jumping? <laughs> or to think that you're so fucking simple-minded that you can't you can't do two tasks at one, or you can't fuck with one person, uh, but at a time. Like, one person is worth fucking with, but two isn't, and I don't know what makes her, th I don't know what made her think that it, it just had to be one, like, did, did God come down from the heavens in physical form and float in front of you and state to you, Natalie, it has to be this way, it has to be like this, you have to do things this way, and... But that's what I'm trying to say. Like, what makes... Like, what... <laughs> like, here's the craziest fucking idea that I've ever come up with. Like, it was... I guess it was such a big deal for you to fuck with two people. It'd be cool with two people, right? So you had to be cool with this one instead of this one, but make it out like you're being cool with the one that you're not being cool with. How how does that make fucking sense? Can you please like that's the explanation I'm looking for. Like, can you please make make me understand how that makes sense or how that's at all any better? And here's the kicker of some shit too. What what was the consequence of like what was the consequence of fucking with me? Like was that was that ever such a big deal or ever such a big issue? And am I sitting here saying that I'm concerned about if you did or didn't? Fuck no, I'm not concerned. The only thing that is any any bit relevant no, on any of the shit is because of her we have it together as a group. her addition of myself to what she's doing, but yet acting like she she can't talk to somebody or acting like it's we too really much for her do. to talk to. That's him. why I'm confused. What makes old dude over there fucking worth your time and and not myself? What makes him so fucking special, Natalie, that you just you just give him the fucking world? But you act like you can't you ain't you too good to fucking talk to me. It do, it doesn't even make no sense. But yet make it like you cool with me. I need a heal. Dude, this girl woke up one day and Decided that she wanted to start playing video games and she wanted to start streaming and shit and now she Now she's a streamer and now she th she thinks she she's a streamer or something and She sits around and plays one fucking video game with her Butt buddy of a friend over there and acts like Yes, Natalie, don't worry. I've got your back. I've got your back Natalie. Well, I fucking obviously like he's the only one that you'll fucking you know, he's the only one she'll talk to, or he's the only one that she'll fucking let have your back, right? And girl, I was fucking, I was cool as fuck with you. I was fucking chill with you. I was friendly to you. I fucking talked you up. I had a lot of positive, uh, a lot of positive things to say to you. I had a lot of positive things to say about you. I know that I fucking personally like, dr like drove you or was dri driven you to want to do better or want to succeed or want to you know be the best that you that you could be and and how is that a bad thing she just had a problem she just had a problem accepting that or she has a problem admitting it She has a problem accepting that something is a good thing. 
Hell, I could like it. She could like it. The people oh, watching some shit could know, like it. And nice. then who in the fuck has the problem? <laughs> then where where is the problem at? Yeah, run, run. I like that, Courtney. When you see my face, don't run away. That's how Ricky got hit. I can't count how many tiny bitches told me I ain't shit. Can't remember last time I sent some bullets and I missed. Why are they all there? 20, 40, 50 shit. I shoot till that glizzy clear. When you see my face, don't run away. That's how Ricky got hit. I can't count how many tiny bitches told me any shit. Can't remember last time I sent some bullets in on this. Stop. Stop moving. <laughs> in that situation, I'd just freaking spray your I should have. Fuck. But okay. <clears throat> if you can't see a good thing, if you can't see the potential for a good thing, or if you can't see that something is fucking just chill the way it is then why go fucking fix something that's not broken you guys how do they always know where we're at that is kind of sus very sus they're the like, imposter every, every let's all push a a a a a i, I go to fucking go d go, go. <laughs> they're here Go to D for dong. Watch your back flank. But yeah, man, instead of sitting around fucking arguing about shit, which was something nobody was ever fucking trying to do. Man, wouldn't, wouldn't it have been nice to have a, a fucking strong-ass team or have a fucking team of fucking badass people or some shit like that? And, like, if she ever had a fucking problem, like, Accepting that I'm a fucking ass set myself, or that I'm fucking good or chill or fucking badass with some shit, and One enemy oh, remaining. Spike down a. and sit here and act as if you didn't already know to begin with. To act as if Natalie went over there fucking playing some ice eye racing so she could fucking get to know Kev a little bit, right? Like. <laughs> oh my God, they're cheating. You should have had that. You totally should have had that. Michael jumps like a little freaking bitch. Yeah, dude. why is she jumping? Right? Uh, because it's harder to hit them. Like it's harder to fucking hit somebody. Like, like they're not supposed to stand there and let them let you shoot them in the head. Like, I don't know. I don't play that game. That's good. That's that's fucking tactical. Oh that's God. like it's a tac Thank tactical so advantage. Like it's harder to hit a moving target, right? It's harder to hit something jumping up or moving or jumping through the air. And it's not supposed to be easy. Shit. Now, if you can do that but still aim or do that and still anticipate like where the bullets are flying, like you're gonna be, you know, you're gonna be badass at it. And in fucking Halo 3 back in like uh, 07 and shit, I was, I was dead ass like eighth in the fucking entire world on on 2v2. Like literally just fucking bad ass as fuck, man. I, I'm not even trying to brag, but even if if it was back in that day and, we, and you know everything was the same. Oh shit, honey, I, I take on your whole team. I take out fucking all five of you at once. Fucking five v one, no, no, dead ass serious, no, no joke. And about like, I don't know, eight to ten million fucking players. Like I, I was ranked eighth in the entire world out of all the fucking players. Not eighth for the week, not eight, you know, like not eighth for the fucking in some little. Slack two division, no, no fucking eighth in the entire Grand fucking Grand world. Dude. With two v two. You did everything. You that spot. Did. You had a nice little spot where it wasn't catching you. You probably would have been able to catch the last person. You did everything you could have done. Good try though. I'm out of here. Good try, bro. Good try. GGs. GGs. <laughs> I'm not it was a really good, it was a really good attempt, but it, it kind of fucking fell on its face. Oh. 
Here comes the party. But man, if this is all something is, or if this is the best it gets, or some shit, like, I don't know, man, it's kind of fucking, it's kind of sad, or kind of boring, like, if this is the best as it gets, uh, I have to question what you find relevant or worth your time. Damn, that fucking sucked. You was all over the place. Yeah. Holy shit, though, salty hot like what? Oh, really? Me too. You just like shot two shots, fucking on each side of them. Like, and bro, like I said in fucking Halo Three, I'd be fucking, I'd be halfway across the fucking map and and just s like s sniping your ass. Just the, I mean, just the second that you fucking ducked out from around the corner, just the moment that you just even a a, a fucking fourth of your head sticking out and just my rank psh, i don't know i psh, lost like seven games fucking gone so it's not good it doesn't who cares who cares if you fucking win or lose like hell as far as i'm concerned you already lost for just being that way really just being a fucking turd about some shit like you hell you've already lost it wouldn't matter if you got fucking uh 50 kills a game how is she, how she shit, shoot me? And that's like on fucking, uh, that's like, that's like on Call of Duty, like, for me to be a level 120, I think. For me to just be a level 120, I can get fucking 80 kills a game. Like, Now, if I had her over there fucking cheering me on, or if I had her over there wanting me to fucking get good for her and shit, then I'd not be in the fucking 100, 110, 120 fucking range. Like, dead ass. Like old dude is, where, you know, he, I guess he, I guess he fucking gets off or something on the idea of her cheering him on. But yeah, if I had her to fucking, you know, cheer me on, or if I had her over there, like, wanting me to do good and shit, then I think she would fucking, you know, I think I'd get 100 kills a game. They're here, they're here, they're here. And dude, something is only, you only make something bad when you want to argue about whether it's good. Literally nothing bad about something other than trying to argue about whether you can accept that it's good or not. Like, <laughs> right? She has such a problem telling somebody else that they're okay. Like, after you know. she was dead. She doesn't want nobody to think that she's, you know, they're cooler than she is, or she don't want nobody to think that she, have to think that she's a, they're an asset to her. Or... I've got some fucking more important shit to do than sit around fucking jawing about this shit. I've jawed on it about it enough, and I think I'm, I think I'm pretty much done on it. Did you see me die? She was, Next time be fucking interesting, or next time say some interesting hey. shit, or be cool, be fun. Don't be a bore. Go, go, go. Snooze fast over here fucking falling asleep like Robert Downey Jr. Like, in that meme. Like. How? How now, brown cow? Are you pushing? Yeah. Tough titty said to kitty, but the milk's still good. Nice there be. Dude, she had shot me too. <laughs> right away. Boo on cool. trying to do everything I do, but trying to make me out like I like you cooler than I am. Like <laughs> the audacity of some people. I swear to God. I'm gonna do everything that you do, but you're not cool, and I'm cool. I don't know if I can play in Nuller. 
I'm literally I I, I want to cry. Match point. Match I know point. I could tell just a minute ago. I could see it. Like I could see that she was about ready to fucking tears was about to start flowing. What? You wanna know why? It's because you've you've been so fucking oh, are we not mean and ill to Kevin. And you feel so fucking bad and feel so horrible about being like that to a fellow race car driver, a fellow race enthusiast, you know, feeling like you did your own kind dirty and Did you say hi and bye? Hi, bye. It's sad to do that to somebody that don't deserve right now, it. Derek? Do that for somebody that doesn't Derek, deserve your that. attention or, or love, like. Why couldn't you just let somebody fucking like you? Like, good God. Just let, just let somebody just show you some love. Like, shit. There's nothing wrong with that. One enemy remaining. Hell yeah. What can you do? Why can't you just let somebody like you? You're pooping, Derek? Uh oh. Come on, stop. Tally Master, thank you so much for the 500. He turned off his third party assist. Is that your uh is that your signature fucking What's that mean? Subscription uh Hand signal. Heart. I've got a heart. Derek, are you iRacing again? You do. Boy, you fool me. Got a heart made of fucking steel. I don't see anything. That bitch is cold as fuck. Look, she, she threw it like it was a goddamn baseball, like, <laughs> It's like she's bowling, but she threw it right out in front of her, like, <laughs> How? Just end the stream and sit there in the Discord with each other and tell tell each other how Kev ain't shit and, and how how y'all are so much cooler than him and so much funner and oh gosh we're cool and he ain't. Oh my god, look at one, two, three, four. I try to be like him in every single way, you know, but he's not cool and I am. I'm leaving. A little bit. I'm sure I'll be on. I'm so upset, and I'm mad my camera's being mean. It looks good right now. I will fix it, and we will be back tomorrow. Salty, are you angry about the games, too? No. Oh, okay. Good night, stream. Thanks for hanging out with me. Yeah, it's, it wouldn't surprise me if she could hear me saying what I was saying as I was saying it. Chuck deuces. <laughs>